Hey, hey, you're listening to the Journey with Janice podcast. Join me on the journey of pursuing Jesus, building our lives on the word, and seeing this world impacted with the love of God. The Journey with Janice podcast is part of the NRT Podcast Network. You can find my podcast and other great podcasts in the network at newreleasetoday.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at the Journey with Janice and check out my website, journeywithjanice.com. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to the Journey with Janice podcast. I am so excited for today's episode because I have my friend, Jenna Dexter on the podcast today. You guys are going to love her if you don't already know her. Some of you might remember her because she's been on the podcast before. Jenna is a Christian life coach who is helping people get unstuck, discover their destiny, design their life, and fulfill their God-given dreams. Jenna is a huge inspiration to so many people and has a heart and passion to see others dream, achieve, and flourish beyond their wildest imagination. She's the founder of Total Thrive, and I'm so excited that you guys are going to get to hear from her today. Welcome, Jenna! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I am I am super excited to be here. We had a super great time last time I was on your show, and thank you for having me back. And now all in vid- visual form. So this is fun and different. So good thing I put on my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're beautiful no matter what. I love it. Thanks for coming back on. I loved our episode last time and I'm excited for what we have planned to talk about today. So for those who don't know you or maybe just want to know you more, can you just tell everybody who you are, what you do, what you're passionate about? Tell us about Jenna. Tell us about Jenna. Well, we went a little bit on a deep dive last time, a little bit more about Jenna, but um, you basically, I, oh, you know, after 23 years as a um, a wife, homemaker, homeschool mom, all of that, that all kind of went crashing down. I was never, ever, ever going to be the um, divorced Christian woman, but um, alas, that is how it went. And, um, and so I spent the next several years, you know, working out, okay, now what, you know, what, what is, what is my life now, you know, after recovering from the trauma and, and, um, just, you know, taking steps to move forward. Um, yeah, eventually I landed on, on where I am now, which is part of what we're actually going to talk about, um, in today's episode. So, um, but as far as my biggest passion, so we already talked about how I help women as a Christian life coach dream, achieve, and flourish beyond the wildest imagination. Um, that comes from Ephesians 3:20, by the way. The you know how God helps us, yeah, do all of those things. Um, because it's all because of him, right? Mm-hmm. So, but beyond just helping women live their best life and go after their dreams and all of that, I, I feel like just kind of my core most passionate thing is helping women define their calling and their purpose and then go out and live it figure out how to make it happen um and go out and 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 live their live their calling and the purpose and make an impact on the world for the kingdom amen everyone on here is like no wonder janice had her on here <laughs> you're like <laughs> incredible i love everything that you're yes we resonate on on many levels <laughs> yes oh i love it i love it so much so the way you help women define what they're called to is related to your own story. So can you tell us about that a little more? I know you kind of touched on it a little bit. So like, how did that, how did that end up like your story help you do what you're doing now? Right. right. Well, so after going through various um, seasons in, um, you know, going through the divorce and figuring out what to do for a living and, and, and I never was the heavy full-time job kind of person. I, I, I grew up with an entrepreneur dad an entrepreneur brother and, entrepreneur ex-husband now. Um, and that was always, I don't know, that was always sort of my jam. And so I resisted like nine to five job land, you know, and I did various several things and, and did part-time this and part-time that and some contractor stuff and all of that. But I came to a, a point um, at, at one point where things were just, I was, I was at a crossroads. I was at a crossroads financially um, where I either needed to figure out kind of quickly, I either need more income or I need to um, reduce my expenses or both. And I need to figure out kind of quick and Lord, what do I do? I'd been praying about it for a while and trying to work out some things, but now it was time to make that decision and do something, make take action. 
And so I spent, I, I got away, you know, sometimes we get our best perspective when we kind of get away from our environment, when we've been trying to figure out answers to questions and God, what about this? And what should I do about that? Sometimes just getting away from our current environment and going to a space just to be alone with God. I went and I found a park that I'd never been to this beautiful park. There's this flowing stream. There's birds flying across the stream. There's a deer on the other side lapping up the water. And, and that just because I was in sort of a scary financial time, the, watching the deer over there drinking the water and then, and then eating from some branch of, of uh, twigs or whatever, it just made me feel like, you know, God's provision. God provides for the deer. He provides for the birds of the air. He provides for all the animals. How much more is he going to provide for you? And, and so it was just very peaceful. And I, I just remember, by the way, it's pouring rain here now suddenly. So if you're hearing that, that's what's happening outside my window I'm looking out. Um, I just got quiet with God and I'm like, God, what do I do? I'd already been looking for a different place to live because that was going to be part of the most likely equation. Um, and I hadn't been finding anything. It's very difficult to find things where I live. And um, and I'm like, God, what do I do? I could go get a regular full-time job. I could... What are all the things I'm good at? You know, I'm thinking about the things. What would I want to do? And and then and then I paused and I asked myself the most favorite question that I like to ask anyone ever is if you could do anything you wanted to, Jenna, what would you do? Like even if it's not something that's going to help you right now in this current situation, get out of your your financial jam. Um, looking down the road a little bit, if you could start making plans toward that, what would that be? And so. Um, I just started to to let myself dream, let myself just get outside of my little bubble that I was in, and just really allow myself to just think about all all of the things. And um, and as a very purpose driven woman, always the thing that I most want to do with my time on any given day is something for the kingdom, something that inspires women. I always have had a heart and a passion for something to do with women, for helping women. So I'm like, well, I want to help women. And that's nothing new. And and I'm a writer. I know that that I'm I'm called to write. And I and I've spent a lot of time honing my writing skills. And and I want to write. I want to help women. I want to help them be closer to God and have intimacy with God. And I want to help them dream and pursue a calling and blah, 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 all these things that are you know I'm doing now. And um and but I'm like, but what does that really look like? And and how does that earn a living? You know. And so just the more I thought through all of the things, which are things that have been on my heart for a long time, I'd had a website a few years before that, I'd done some blogging, I'd done some things, and and it just at that time didn't feel like it was the right timing or the right niche or the right whatever, and so I kind of let it go at the time. I went and did some exploring, went to Australia, New Zealand, and did some fun things. That was a whole other story. Uh, we talked about that in my last uh, podcast. At any rate, um, it just started to feel, I started to feel like God was downloading things in me that I hadn't really thought of before, that I was just getting more creative with what this might actually look like. And now the coaching part of it didn't come until later. That's a little bit, that's kind of a part two of the story. But initially in that moment, I really felt like God was downloading into me all these ideas that I was having for what became Total Thrive, um, a place where I can help women dream, achieve and flourish and 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 find that intimacy with God and pursue their calling. And, and um, so that's kind of where it started. Um, and that was like the C. So I, I did still need to figure out. And by the way, on my phone in that moment, I'm looking at my phone and Craigslist. I found the place that was there before um, that that day I called on. I went and looked at it and ended up renting this way less expensive place that um, I just feel like it was all part of my moment and being at the park. God, what do I do? OK, this is what you could do in your future, Jenna. This is what you're going to do right now. And um, yeah. And so that's kind of where all of that that's where Total Thrive started for me was right there in that park, having that, that that crossroads moment. And I really think that's key. Sometimes we we hit a crossroads and those are moments that are really great to reflect and really think through. Again, if you could do anything you wanted and you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? And then start taking steps toward it. That is so good. And I encourage anyone watching or listening to sit with that, like get a journal out. Think about that. What Jenna just said, if you could do anything you know, and that is going to be key to your purpose and your calling. What are you passionate about? What do you love? And I love that you basically just preach Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added. And it's so 
easy to get so busy in life and just going, going, going and kind of like God fill in the gaps for me. But you took that time to break away, get away from the familiar, which I was literally just talking to a friend about this morning about getting away from what's familiar, seeking God. And then he worked it all out. So it's, I love your story. I encourage you guys go listen to the other episode we did. Look it up. I, I'll probably link it because it was such a good episode and there's more juicy details of like Jenna traveling the world and like all the things <laughs> that I did through her. It's incredible. You guys know why like she's one of those people that you meet and you keep because she's incredible. Uh-huh. And, and I'm just inspired by everything you do. And I know other people are too. So, so you mentioned some of the thought processes that you went through as God helped you get clarity on what you were called to. So can you highlight some of those again and give us more questions so that we can yeah. brainstorm when we're thinking about our own calling? Because I think that's something that a lot of people grapple with. What's my calling? What's my purpose? So you, what you're doing is so valuable and needed. So do it, girl. All right. Thank you. Yes. And to that end, I actually created a resource that we're going to, I think, link in the show notes, right? Um, and uh, and you can find it at totalthrive.com uh, slash destiny. So I call it the destiny definer or my destiny definer because it's about my destiny or for you, it's your destiny. Um, and so it has it has 12 questions on it that you can sit and, and meditate on, including the one that I just asked about it. If you could do anything you wanted, what would you do? Um, but yeah, and, and while I was sitting at the park that day, I'm thinking about, okay, what are, what are my, what are my desires? What are the desires of my heart? You know, women and helping women. Um, what are my skills writing at the time? I knew writing was, was a skill of mine. What can I do with my writing skill? Um, experiences that we've had in the past are a lot of times our past life experiences, whether they're good or bad for me, I went through a lot of trauma, but I can help women and how I came out of that. And, um, I've, I've had a lifetime of, of relationship with Jesus that I can pull from and, and, um, pour on to other women, um, spiritual gifts. I knew that what my spiritual gifts were and that, and that one of them is encouragement. And I want to encourage women. I want to inspire them and be their cheerleader, you know, that I believe in them and that, um, motivate them to do the things, do the hard things. Um, personality temperaments was another thing. I know that as, um, I study and, and am sort of an expert, I guess, in the, what they call the four personality temperaments, the choleric, uh, sanguine, melancholy, um, phlegmatic. And so I'm very high choleric sanguine are my two, are my two big ones. And choleric is very strong risk taker, AKA entrepreneur, (laughs) um, leader, um, just kind of take charge and do, do the things. And so I knew I had that, you know, that's part of my entrepreneur personality. Um, and so all of those things sort of combined is partly what helped me come up with some of what I was led to. Um, and that's, those are some of the questions that, that, you know, your audience can ask themselves as they're pondering, what am I called to in this season? It changes throughout life. You know, we, we can be called to many things. We can be called to be a mother, called to be a wife and a homemaker, in one season and in another season, which I was before, in another season, you're called to start a kingdom-minded business or you're called into ministry. I'm also a worship leader. And um, and so I have, you know, the musical skills and I have those kinds of things. And so you figure out what am I good at? Um, other kinds of questions you might ask are, um, what do people always come to you for and ask you for help with? Um, that you just sort of naturally find yourself doing. And to you, it just seems like the most natural thing in the world. And you just think, oh, this is like anybody can do this, but not everybody can necessarily. Sometimes there are things that it comes so easy to you that you just think it's no big deal when someone else might find it incredibly valuable. And like, I could never do that. Or I don't know how you do that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so think about those kinds of things. Uh, also, you know, what do people kind of see in you and point out to you that maybe you're not really listening to or not realizing this? Oh, you seem like you're really good at that. Or it seems like you do. And you're, nah, nah, nah. so that is part of how, again, the life coaching part came into my equation. Um, so total thrive initially was a place for me to write was a place for me to, I had some product up there for a while with, with, with encouraging quotes, um, uh, that you could purchase and, and things like that. Um, but uh, as I would tell people what I was doing, and um, there was at least two people that would say, well, it sounds like your life coach. You know what I talk about? I want to encourage women to dream and, and figure out the calling and all the things that I would say and live their best life. Well, it sounds like your life coach. And I was like, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of sounds like that, but that's not me, you know? And then, but then it was another, um, 
I don't know, several months later, that I'm at a uh, conference with Danny Johnson, um, a success, a Christian success coach, I guess you would call her. Um, she's been on Oprah and all the things, and and um, she's amazing. And um, she she gave us an assignment one one time after our session to go to lunch with someone that we don't know, ask them um, a series of questions, and one of them was, "What is the number one thing that you want to accomplish by the end of this year?" And so on the way back from our lunch, um, I was with two gals and I'm, I'm asking this one in particular, you know, so what's your number one thing you want to do by the end of this year? She tells me um, about some situations, some legal situation that she's going through that she's um, just has to, she's just been dragging her feet and not doing it and all of that. I start asking her more questions. Well, what is it that you need to do to accomplish this? And she starts telling me, I'm like, well, long story short, it all came down to there was a specific person that she could reach out to for help. And she had their contact information. And I'm like, so when are you going to contact them? <laughs> and she laughs. And it's just like, I, I guess I could do it on the plane tomorrow. You know, text them when I'm getting on the, you know, while I'm at the airport tomorrow. And um, and she laughs and she's like, it's like your life coach. And because I said after that, I was like, yeah, and I'll follow up with you and all of that. I told her, I said, okay, I'm going to follow up with you and make sure you actually texted them, you know. And, and that's when she laughed. She said, it's like your life coach. And when she said it in that moment, it just hit me. And I'm like, God, are you just like ringing a bell over my head and shining a light on me and going, oh, the angels are singing because it was just so natural. It was just so totally natural for me to go through that interaction with her and bring her to this point. I saw her at the next Danny Johnson conference, like six months later, she came running up to me, Jenna, Jenna, I did the thing. I'm so excited. And I thank you. It's all because of you. And she just was so excited. This simple conversation we had that for me was just natural changed her life basically you know just her overcoming this this thing that she'd been going through so back to the point of what are people speaking into your life that you might be ignoring or just thinking oh that's not really for me because I'm like who am I to be a life coach right well it turns out you know you can be a life coach you can get certified you can learn how to do it you know on an actual as an actual business and actually help people and um, earn a living so that's my life coach story I love that and I think it's so important that we, and you do this so well, but that we are people who see the gold in others and call it out too, because we could be that person on the other side saying, Hey, I see this in you. And it's like, for, like you said, for us, it's like so natural. It's like, we don't even have to think about it. It's just whatever, how we flow. Cause it's how God created us. But sometimes we need that voice to come along and say, you know, and like, like for me, I'm doing like this Christian comedy thing now. And it was, I'm like, I've always been the funny girl, whatever. But like people start saying, why aren't you doing like Christian stand-up comedy? And I'm like, I never really thought about it, honestly. So I love that, that you had all of those people speaking into you. And I think it's so important for us to be those people who speak up and say those things. And I know you're such an encourager and you see the golden people and call it out. And so I love, love that about you. I love what you're doing. And I'm so, just so inspired by you. I think it's amazing. Uh, that story is amazing. And it's funny because, you know, you're just doing what you're naturally good at because God's exactly. created us. That's what the word says in Ephesians 2.10, that he created us for good works that he prepared in advance for us to do that were his masterpiece and his handiwork. And so I think that's so important that we live out, and which is what you're doing, helping people live in the fullness of what God created them for. And so sometimes it's those conversations, book a call with Jenna, talk to her. If you're like, I don't know what my purpose and my calling is. And I love how you said it can change season to season. And, and like one of my favorite scriptures I quote all the time is Ecclesiastes, that there's a time and a purpose for every season under heaven. And I say that a lot, like our main purpose to know God, to make him known, like that's never going to change, but every season could look different. I've done youth ministry. I've done women's ministry. I've traveled. I've had done all sorts of different things. And even now God's having me do different things than I've ever done. And it's so important that we take that time to press into him to seek wise counsel, get a life coach. If you're kind of like, what do I do? You know, get a life coach, hire Jenna and like figure it out so that you can live in the fullness. Cause that's the most satisfying life when you are living in God's perfect will for you. So I love it, girl. You get me all stirred up over here. <laughs> get into you, dog. I love it. I love it. So I love that. I want to reiterate that people can find the destiny definer. We will put it in the show notes, but at totalthrive.com slash destiny go do that. It's incredible. So you have a webinar coming up. I'm really excited about this. So tell us all the details. Tell us everything about it. I'm excited about this. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's a free webinar. Um, it's going to be on March 11th. 
um, next Saturday, I believe the when uh, at the time this this uh, is dropping, it's going to be the following week later, Saturday, March 11th. Um, it's called "Unleash Your Goals and Destiny in 2023 for Women." Um, it's you know it's a girls' club thing. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you'll discover the number one secret to getting unstuck, creating momentum, fulfilling purpose, and achieving the life that you want. Um, in the free training, you will discover there's five things. The most powerful thing that you have control over that will change everything. Um, you'll discover what is holding you back and how to overcome it. How science finally caught up with scripture to reinforce what God's word has been telling you all along. And why understanding this one thing is the fastest way to achieving goals, dreams, and more a more fulfilling life. And then, of course, inspiration to believe in all that is possible for you in 2023 and beyond. Um, and then my promise in this webinar is that you will walk away feeling empowered, confident, and inspired to pursue your goals, dreams, and God-given destiny in 2023. I love that. I love that. And I say this to people all the time, like you have no idea the ripple effect of your yes to God. And I just, I'm, I'm just decreeing and declaring right now that when people sign up for this webinar, when they walk away from it, by the time it's done, that God's going to just reveal some things in people's heart or give them like clarity for something. Maybe they've been praying for, maybe they have an idea of what God wants them to do. Like, I just really believe there's going to be fullness that happens on your webinar and just clarity for direction. And I know, I mean, we all know the last three years, people have just kind of been floundering or or just having a hard time having hope for their future. And so I love that you're going to empower these women. Like you said, sorry, guys, girl party only empower <laughs> these women to just live in fullness because God has good things for us. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world around us. Like God has a purpose and a calling on all of our lives. And so I love what you're doing and empowering women to live in that, live in the fullness of all of it. So that is really cool. That is really cool. So is it going to be like video? Is it, what, what is it going to look like? Yeah, it's a vid video webinar. So um, I think Demio is the, the platform. Um, and yeah, so you'll get a link, you'll, you'll show up. There's, you know, you can type in the chat, all the stuff, you know, and ask questions and um, raise your hands when you're excited about the things, all the things. So yay. I love all of it. I love all of it. Oh, it's going to be good. And we'll put that link in the show notes as well. So Jenna, is there anything else that you want to share with the podcast community today? Anything else on your heart? Anything else on my heart? Oh, I don't know. I just, I feel like there are so many women who get maybe stuck in, in, in maybe the rut of their life of whatever it is that they're living in a any given season where, you know, you get comfortable, you get comfortable, whether, whether it's truly comfortable or not, like if it's a living situation, that's uncomfortable or a job that you don't really love, um, or whatever it is, you just sort of like, oh, but it's what I know. And, and, it, and the job is paying the bills and it's not really my, um, I don't feel necessarily called to it. I don't feel like I'm really, it's not bringing me life and it's not impacting others. Like I would like for it to, and so, you know, sometimes there's, there's, you know, in this season right now, today, tonight, whatever, whenever you're watching this, take the time, download the destiny definer and think about all of those things. Take that time and space, get away, go to a park, you know, that, that kind of stuff, like take the time and the space to just reevaluate your life, reevaluate. What do I really want? God, what do you, you really want for me? Um, and, um, and, and just think, you know what? maybe it can be different. Maybe it can be better than what I have right now. Maybe I can be living more, a more thriving, fulfilling life um, in all areas. I, I have also a quiz on my website. If you want to go try that one out, that's called the seven essentials of total thrive. And so it kind of takes you through where you feel like you're at with, with God relationships with people, um, fun and recreation, um, uh, finances, it, it, your job, your purpose, your, um, just all seven different areas and, um, just kind of helps you reflect on those different areas of your life. And then, and then if you do that quiz, I wasn't going to promote that here, but if you do that quiz, um, you will get follow-up emails, um, from me based on the things that you kind of scored the lowest on, you'll get some follow-up emails to encourage and, and, um, hopefully help you grow in those areas and, and stuff. So at any rate, um, yeah, I just want to encourage people to take the time to actually stop and think about their life and think about what they want, think about what God wants for them. Do the, you know, seek first the kingdom of God 
thing and um, figure out how to define it. If they're not sure what they're called to, then, you know, download the Destiny Definer, think about it, pray about it. Um, if they do know what they're called to and they're just struggling with, I don't know how to get there. I have all these obstacles in the way. Well, that's what, you know, coaching can help you with. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Listen, y'all hire this woman, book her, <laughs> get a call with her. Like it'll change your life. And it, and I'm hearing so much about this. I feel like people are getting it now about the importance of investing in ourselves. And like, I think we've been just had it ingrained in us that that's selfish, but it's not because when we are our best person, like we are going to be better for everyone else around us. And so I endorse Jenna 100% this woman of God, she's incredible. So how can women connect with you, all your socials, all the things? Yes. Okay. So Instagram is my main, uh, social media platform. And so pretty much everything is at Jenna Dexter dot total thrive, like Jenna Dexter all together dot total thrive all together. Um, and if you're not sure what I'm saying, total thrive, sometimes people don't know what I'm saying. Total as an all. <laughs> and thrive <laughs> so uh and then jenna dexter just how it sounds j-e-n-n-a-d-e-x-t-e-r so um yeah instagram is at jenna dexter dot total thrive facebook is the same pretty much anything that goes on instagram goes on facebook to be honest i'm not really hanging out there though and and but i'm, I'm thinking maybe this year's the year maybe i'll start hanging out there more and actually engaging there um and then youtube i i have a minimal youtube channel but i i am dedicated that's my, one of my goals i wrote it down because when you write down your goals your um what is the number 40% more likely to achieve them? I wrote down that starting in March, I'm going to be doing at least four videos a month. So now I've said it. Now I got to do it. <laughs> you are because people are going to be so, looking for it. <laughs> yeah. So I am definitely excited about it. Now here I am. I'm already doing one right now. Yes. <laughs> one of my ones. Yes. I can count. I can count. <laughs> yeah. So basically the same thing, Jenna Dexter dot total thrive. Um, or if you just type in any of those names, you'll find me um, on YouTube. So yeah, YouTube is definitely my next thing. And then there might be a podcast coming, but not yet right now. It's those two things. Those three things. Oh, I love it. I love it. God takes us. Of course, total thrive .com. All new things. <laughs> and I'll link all of that in the show notes. So you guys can go follow her, go to her website, sign up for the webinar, do all the quizzes, do all the things, invest in your self, invest in yourself. So Jenna, thank you for being on here. This was such a fun conversation. I love everything you're doing. I bless it. I'm thankful that you are doing what God created you to do because it's impacting so many people. So thank you for giving God your yes. Thank you so much. And I love everything you're doing. You're such a sunshiny, bright ray of, of joy and just who wouldn't want to hang out with Janice? Journey with Janice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, would you pray over our listeners today and just bless who's ever listening, speak whatever God puts on your heart to, to pray over them to close this baby out? Yes. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. So, okay. That's one of the things that people talk about in my coaching sessions is my prayers. They just love my prayers. So Lord, I pray right now for every single woman who is either watching this um, on video or listening to it on audio, whether it is, you know, March, 2023 or two years from now, or five years from now, they happen upon it. Lord, whatever season they're listening to this is exactly when they're supposed to listen to it. And, and Lord, I pray that you would use it to ignite them to pursue you, to ignite them, to pursue deeper intimacy and relationship with you and in so doing that you will reveal to them your truth. You would reveal to them the path that you want them to take, that they would ask those questions. God, if I could do anything I wanted and I couldn't fail, what, what would I do? And, and that, that between you and God, you would kind of come up with these ideas and, and, and Lord, what am I good at? What do people say I'm good at? And, and what are my, my spiritual gifts and, and, and what are my, what am I strong at? What, what is my personality temperament? What am I, naturally inclined to and um and all of these things lord I, I i pray that you would inspire women to take a beat take a moment stop and and think about their life and the direction that you want for them that you would infuse them ideas of what what have you gifted them with that they're not using um what have you what have you put in their heart since they were um a kid that they've always wanted to do um, what is it that you have for this next season? What is it that maybe you have for them that sometime in the future, maybe 10 years, but you want them to start um, building and, and working toward and, and making plans toward, even if it's not for right now in this season? Lord, there's so many ways to look at calling and purpose and all of that. But Lord, I just pray that you would excite 
people right now who are watching this to pursue you, pursue their gifts, pursue their calling, and to live their God-given destiny in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.